Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So we're back with my perfume collective haul of travel sprays. I have them here. Um, as I said, they're travel sprays, but there are a few samples in here that I threw in here. And I just want to basically do some more sniffing with you guys. I am familiar with some of them and others. They are completely new to me. Um, but yeah, basically just a nice long sniffing video trying to discover and rediscover some new perfumes. And hopefully there are some hits in here. So let's begin. First one here is from the house of Simone Andrioli. And this one is called Malibu Party in the Bay. So this is a house that I think is extremely underrated. They do a lot of sweet gourmand scents, among other perfumes, of course, perfume types. But I really like what they've released when it comes to their sweet gourmands. And this is one that is absolutely gorgeous. Malibu Party in the Bay, Eau de Parfum Intense. This one here is a scent that people say is a dupe for uh, a very popular scent in the community, Creed Virgin Island Water. And Virgin Island Water, I think, is probably the best scent from Creed, in my personal opinion. I have a big decant of that one that I love to wear during the summer. And this one here is very similar. I do smell the similarities with that lime, coconut, beachy, summer vacation kind of vibe. Um, it is so, so, so delicious. So yeah, if you're into Creed Virgin Island Water but want to spend less, uh, then yeah, give this one a try. Malibu Party in the Bay from Simone Andrioli. Eau de Parfum Intense. My favorite from this house from what I have tried is Sunplosion. Um, that one was a nice, uh, sweet, fruity, tropical fruit salad kind of perfume. Uh, guava, lychee, mango. It's so, so beautiful. Uh, this one, also beautiful. And as I said, if you like Creed, Creed Virgin Island Water, I won't say that they are the same scent, but there are definitely uh, similar similarities with the two. Okay, so... That one is a must try, in my opinion. Now let's just choose another one here. Okay. We have this very, very heavy travel size of Thamine Riviere. And I have worn this once or twice and I didn't have a good reaction to it. <laughs> so yeah, this is like super heavy. I do like the color of the, the glass here. Um, I guess that is the logo on top. I have tried one from this house before. I think it was called Peregrine or Peregrina, something like that. It was quite nice. Um, ooh, and it also has the uh, logo on top there. It's a nice detail. But this Riviere <laughs> is so, so strong that uh, it was bothering me. Even just one spray it's like almost, I feel like it's taking over the entire room. So if you like beast mode scents, oh, it's an extra de parfum, it says down here. <laughs> if you like uh, beast mode scents, then this is totally something to check out. I'm not in the mood for beast mode perfumes right now, but this to me is a sweet, a sweet, earthy kind of scent. I believe there's leather in here. And um, it's mostly sweet though. <laughs> Sweetness in the front with some fruits and, and, and then just slightly behind that um, we have an earthy leather. And I guess I can try to make this work if I just spray it um, maybe down here or in the back of my neck or on my winter coat because this is probably something I would not reach for in hot weather. It's just too overwhelming. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's just so intense, you guys. Sweet leather 
way overpowering for me. I feel like the whole world will know I'm wearing a perfume when I walk by if I wear this. So um, not a bad scent, but just too strong for me. And uh, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> Let's move on to something else here. I'm just going to pick... Okay, I don't know. Okay, so this one here is a cute little mini. Uh, I have not tried this one before, but I have heard of this house. And it's Marc Antoine Barrois, Barrois, Paris. And this one is called, it's an EDP mini. Oh, let's open it up here. Okay, so yeah, we have a cute little mini here and it's called Ganymede. G-A-N-Y-M-E-D-E. -E. So I haven't tried this one. This is not a spray bottle. It's just a little, well, big opening there, splash bottle. Uh, let's see here. I'll just put this one on my skin. <laughs> hopefully it's, hopefully it's good. See there. Okay, so I have heard some positive things about this house. Hmm. Okay, so that's nice. It smells like an earthy woodiness that I'm getting in here. A realistic woody kind of smell. Maybe there's something like spicy in here too, because there is something kind of popping out from this woodiness. Oops, let me just put this back on right here. Realistic, earthy, uh, rich, spicy woods. That's basically what I get here. No idea what the notes are. Ooh, not a lot of sweetness in here. I don't smell any right now, at least. Pleasant. That is a pleasant scent. I am picturing a guy wear this. It's For me, I don't know if I would wear it. The imagery that I'm getting is a nice, well-dressed gentleman wearing this. A polo shirt. Classy. Nice pressed pants and shirt. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's Ganymede. Classy, earthy, rich, deep, woody perfume. From what I can tell here. So yeah, that's quite nice. Um, I will try it on, wear it properly. Maybe I can decant it into a little uh, atomizer to see. But yeah, I like trying things that are not usually things I would normally go for. I said before that normally I go for sweet, gourmand, delicious perfumes. And yeah, these ones are, these two here are taking me out of my comfort zone, challenging my nose a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah, they're not too bad. Okay, so let's try this one here. We have a travel size of Bois Imperial. And it's by the Niche House Essential Parfums. It says it's 93% natural, natural spray, 10 mil. And the perfumer they have added here, Quintin Bish, who is a superstar uh, perfumer. Now, have I tried this? I don't think I have. <laughs> now, I think I have a sample of it somewhere, but there's the little travel size. Whew, I can't even see where the atomizer is. I mean, you know, sometimes they have the, uh, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> sometimes you can see the thing, that plastic thing that's attached to the atomizer. In here, it kind of just disappeared. Because at first I thought it was a, uh, a splash. <laughs> but you can see up there that there's that plastic. I don't even know what you call it. But Ah, that's cool how it kind of gets lost in there. Now, Bois Imperial by Quentin Bish Essential Parfums. Okay, it's really light. I'm gonna spray it again. 
Okay, totally different from this, um, this uh, Ganymede. This woodiness is soft. It's a soft, fluffy, musky kind of woodiness. Very subtle. What I'm thinking as I smell this is it would be something that I would like to wear at bedtime. The texture of what this smells like is just so, so soft. Like a soft squish, a soft squishy woodiness that is not heavy at all. Hmm. I just smelled some ISO E Super in here all of a sudden. Like making me think of Molecule 01. <laughs> Again, I don't know what the notes are in here, but yeah, this is quite a pleasant, very soft, elegant, subtle, kind of a wispy woodiness, if that makes sense. The kind where if I wore it and I kind of talked with my hands a little, I would get soft whispers or soft whiffs of it in the air and I would be like, hmm, that smells nice. Not a lot of sweetness in here. I'm not sure if I already said that, but yeah, pleasant. A pleasant, soft woodiness, maybe for people who don't like, who want a woody perfume, but is don't want like it to be super heavy or intense. I like it. <laughs> so yeah, Essential Parfums Bois Imperial. I have tried some others from this house. Uh, the orange Santal I thought was really nice and there's also the Divine Vani also very nice but this Bois Imperial yeah I can picture myself wearing this if I'm not in the mood for my normal sweet gourmand uh, perfumes um, when I don't have a sweet tooth then maybe I can reach for this one shall we move on to another one here Okay, so let's go with, I don't know, <laughs> let's go with Gentle Fluidity from Maison Francis Kirk Sean. Now I have the other one here as well. I have talked about these on my channel a long time ago when it was released. And these ones have the exact same ingredients the notes but they are in different quantities so i think that was really interesting i wasn't like super crazy about these scents when i first tried them and tested them let's see i haven't tested them or smelled them since then so let's see how i feel about it now and we have these cute little travel size or little sample size um perfumes I just I love it I think it's so classy and really pretty and this is the gold version now if I remember right the gold version is the version that I liked more between the gold and the silver and let's give this one a try I remember the silver one being like very metallic okay so gentle fluidity gold from Maison Francis Kirkshawn Hmm. Okay. Sparkly, bright sweetness. Super sparkly. It's like making me literally think of a pot of gold <laughs> at the end of a rainbow and then the sun is hitting uh, like shining rays on it and you're getting like the most bright sparkle of gold almost making your eyes go like this because it's so bright that's what I'm getting in here and I'm getting like a nice sweetness in here that is kind of like making my mouth feel it's like I don't know it's giving me a taste <laughs> <laughs> almost like a metallic feeling I don't know if any of you guys have ever done this as a kid but when I was a kid there was some science experiment where we had to where, well I like chewed on some aluminum foil and there's supposed to be some kind of like electrical charge or reaction I can't remember exactly 
But when I'm smelling this, I'm getting that same like weird feeling, weird electric shock in my mouth. And maybe that sounds ridiculous, but that's what I'm getting from here. I'm going to retest and try to wear this and see how I feel about it. Maybe I've changed my mind about it from the first time I've tried it, but super. And I'm getting a little bit of that metallic feeling as well. So <laughs> Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirkshawn. Interesting. Interesting how like the imagery that it gives me. Now let's do one more here. Which one shall we do? Let's do this one. So this one is from the house of Frederick Mall, Carnal Flower. I have smelled this one before, tested it several times, and it's also made by Dominique Ropion. I like how they include the, the perfumer name. And this is like the most adorable little sample mini of it. I love these mini sizes. They're so, so cute. These ones hold seven mils, I believe. Yeah, seven mils Eau de Parfum. Uh, this is one of the more popular scents, I would say, in the collection. Now, let me just open this up here. Unfortunately, this does not have a spray, so I'm just going to dab it on my skin here. And I think at some point I want to review this one. I have gone through several samples of this in the past. And this is such an interesting tuberose scent. The tuberose in here is extremely loud. It is just such a big, big statement perfume where it will probably get you noticed wearing this. So it is a sweet and green tuberose scent. And sometimes tuberose to me comes off a little bit bubble gummy. It has that scent of like bubblicious gum. In here, I get that in the background, but mostly I get a big, bold, attention grabbing, white floral. It's just so elegant. It's so grand. It's so noticeable. And, um, not something that I would wear often, I think. I would have to be in the mood for this. I think it would be a great wedding scent. But yeah, it's such a beautiful, like, ugh. I'm thinking of a big field of only two bros. And there's also a nice breeze around me. And I'm just like taking a big, big deep breath of just two bros. But there's also a sweetness in here as well. But that's the imagery that I get. Just a big, big field as far as the eyes can see. And it's just you standing in the middle. And you are the center of attention. <laughs> of attention. And the nice green leafy scent in there too. It's just such an elegant scent. I really love this. So maybe I will review this at another time. But I have loved this perfume. Um, for quite a while. I think it is a challenging one to wear though. It's not something, as I said, that I can pull off every day just because it's, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe overwhelming or too much. I have worn this and sprayed it too much at some point, not at some point, but one time, and I just felt like I was choking. So, <laughs> uh, probably have to go a little bit easier on the sprays with this one, but it's such a classy scent that is so gorgeous. And that's Carnal Flower from Frederick Mall. Now, those were all of the ones that I will be sniffing today. I sniffed a total of six perfumes. My favorite of these would probably be, not probably, would easily be the Carnal Flower. And then my least favorite, probably the Thamine Riviere. It was just too much. <laughs> it's just too much for me, but I will I will try to make it work and see 
how it goes but yeah for now that's my least favorite and again this is another favorite of mine the uh, Malibu party in the bay beautiful kind of Creed Virgin Island water scent ish okay so now I have some more left for next time so please stay tuned for that I hope you enjoyed this very long sniffing video uh, some of them are new some of them old kind of a haul I don't know what to call it but I hope you enjoyed it um, if you've tried these I would love to hear your opinion on them in the comments if you'd like to uh, thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you soon in the next video take care bye bye